Fitting a dado rail. The standard height for dado rails is around 900 millimeters from the floor. Dado rails are designed to protect the wall from the backs of chairs, but have now become more of a design feature. Use a tape measure to mark a line 900 mil from the floor. Place a spirit level on the mark and extend the marks at either end of the level, making sure that the bubble stays in the middle. Once this has been done, hammer a nail at the end of one of the lines nearest to the, the end of the wall and apply a chalk line. Run this down the wall across your, your marks, making sure that it's level. And on the very end mark, hold it against the wall and then ping the middle of the line should create a chalk line. This would now be your rough guide for when fitting the dado rail. Hold the dado rail into position, making sure that you can see roughly the, the, the same amount of the line. And in the middle of it, in this case, we're just going to use nails. So we're just going to put some nails into the dado to hold it to the wall. But here we just check that the, the dado rail is level. And then on the next one, if you put the spirit level across the top of the other dado uh, onto the adjacent wall and then mark a line when the bubble's in the middle and then mark further lines going along the, the spirit level. Again, just like before, knock a nail at the very end of the line and attach the chalk line Follow the line across. And then once it's in place, you can ping the line to create your chalk line. You can blow a bit of the excess off the, the chalk line to make it a bit clearer. Next step is to put your second piece of dado rail up against the existing one and mark roughly where you need to, to make your cut to perform a scribe join. And that's the angle we need to take. It's not a, uh, a line for, for making a cut, it's just a kind of showing you the direction. Take it over to the miter saw and set it to 45 degrees. Uh, you could use a mitre box here if you've got if you haven't got a mitre saw, but it's much easier with a mitre saw. Make the cut. And then using a coping saw, you need to cut out the shape of the uh, the profile, and this will allow for a smooth connection and a and what's called a scribe join. In this case, we're going to apply adhesive uh, to show you the different types. Use a squiggly line to spread as much adhesive as you can across the board. And then put that up to the existing piece, slot it on, and then push it against the wall across the line. And there you have it. The dado rail has been connected. Uh, you can put in a couple of extra pins if you want to make it more secure. And that's the fit.